Hey everybody, what's going on? Dylan Borland here. Hopefully everybody's doing good and staying focused and staying consistent. Look, I wanted to just pick up the phone real quick and shoot a video. Um, I was reminded today, having a conversation of something that I think is a good reminder for all of you, for all of our coaching students, for all the people that follow us as well too. Um, if your focus is uh, on achieving. I had to think for a moment there. My mind went blank. What am I even talking about? Hello? What's going on, everybody? Um, if your focus is on achieve, achieving financial success, um, some people, um, you know, that that's that's their primary focus. Right? There's a whole bunch of things that people, you know, are motivated to uh, want to achieve in your life. But if, if financial success is one of them, I hear from people, I want to be a millionaire or I want to be a billionaire, I want to have a certain level of income, whatever it is, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, one thing that served me very well, I learned this when I was really young from a mentor, was uh, my first goal in life was just to make six figures. And the mentor had told me, Dylan, if you want to make six figures, start hanging around people that are making six figures, and naturally you'll be lifted up to their level. And so I did that, and then within the first year, I started making six figures in income. And then my next goal, because like a lot of you, my first goal in life was very income derived, right? I wanted to have a very certain level of income. That's one of the reasons why I got involved in real estate, because real estate is one of those businesses where you can pretty much make, you know, you're your only limit. Sky's the limit in terms of what you can make. There's no cap. Like if you're a doctor or an attorney, listen, 500 grand or a million dollars a year is, is the end of it, right? There's really not an opportunity to make much more unless you open your own practice or something like that. So you guys get what I'm talking about. So for me, like a lot of you, I was driven very early on by income. And then I said, okay, well, wow, this works. And so I said, I want to make a million dollars a year. Let me start hanging around people that make a million dollars a year. And sure enough, you start making a million dollars a year. And I did. And then I was lost for a few years. And then I said, well, I want to be a billionaire. And you guys get the story now, right? And start studying billionaires for a year and, and, and start you know hanging around billionaires, right? And which I did. I have a lot of friends now that we have that have made are billionaires. And I discovered I don't personally being a billionaire is not something that is of interest to me personally right now. But for a lot of people, it is. Um, the point I guess I'm trying to make here is that you know there's 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 everybody's in a current level of thinking. People making six figures a year are thinking a lot differently than people making a million dollars a year. And people making millions of dollars a year are thinking a lot differently. There's a very stark contrast between how people making six figures, how people making a million dollars, how people making a billion dollars think and the decisions that they make, right? Um, and that's the point that I'm trying to make here is if you want to, like, look at somebody making twenty four, twenty five thousand dollars $25,000 a year, $50,000 a year. What are they caught up in? What is their decision processes? What are they talking about every day? How are they spending their time and energy? It's the easiest path. I wouldn't say the easiest because it's not easy. But if, if I could boil this down to the most simplistic thing that you can do, if you want to earn more, you need to learn more, number one. But it's to start hanging around. You are the sum, like my mentor used to tell me, you are the sum total of the top three people that you spend the most amount of time with, right? Your income is generally going to match them. And so if you want to start making $100,000 a year, start hanging around people that are making $100,000 a year. Spend all of your time there with those people and in conversation with those people. If you want to start making a million dollars a year, start hanging around people making a million dollars a year. The thing that's happening there, what I want you to pay attention, and I want you to start mimicking this, is how are they talking, what types of decisions are they making? And I wrote a few ideas down here real quick. Really tune into how are they making decisions? What conversations are they having? What things are important to them and not important to them? And what types of habits do they have? And that's what you need to try to uncover as you're hanging around with these groups, 100,000 millionaires, billionaires, whatever it is. Really look for what habits are they practicing? What decisions are they making and how do they make decisions? How are they thinking about things? Because it's a lot different than how you're thinking about things right now. How, 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 how these different categories of income make decisions and look at opportunities and, and kind of navigate life. And that's what I want you to focus on. Now, don't pick up the ego. You know, don't pick up the mannerisms and things like that. Look for the what's behind that. Look for the foundation, the decisions that are being made. 
um, what they things they care and don't care about, um, you know, the habits that they're doing on a daily basis. And you guys, here's the good news is to be a millionaire, you can you don't have to be one right now. You can start acting like one and you will very quickly become one. To make $100,000 a year, start acting like somebody who's making $100,000 a year. Start talking like somebody who's making $100,000 a year. Start adapting the habits and the decision process of people making $100,000 a year or a million dollars a year. And you're going to very quickly get yourself to that level. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's it's hard to articulate, but um, so much of where we're at in life comes down to like, you know, our mental, right? And we kind of get stuck in our ways and we get stuck in our old habits and it's really hard to kind of develop new habits and it's really hard to start thinking different ways or thinking outside of the box. Um, and the best way to do that is to surround yourself by people who are thinking the way that you probably want to start thinking and start adapting those. Okay, so I don't know. That was a long-winded way of saying you want to make $100,000 a year, start spending most of your time with that people have making 100000 a year. You want to make a million dollars a year, start spending your time, deep time relationships with people making a million dollars a year. And you're going to naturally start talking like them. You're going to naturally start acting like them and making decisions like them, which is what got them to a million dollars, which is what got them to a billion dollars. And you're going to get there. And again, just as a reminder, what you're looking for is how are they making decisions how are they, what are things are important to them or not important to them? Are they worried about a $50 cell phone bill or a $100 cell phone bill? And though that's hard right now because you might be in a situation where you don't have a lot of money, you don't have a lot of income, you say, Dylan, I don't know how I'm going to live next week. You have to completely surrender and adapt the mindset of a millionaire or adapt the mindset of a billionaire. They're not worried about what the cell phone bill is going to be next week. They're not worried about if the mortgage payment is going to be made. And if you can completely surrender and become that persona um, now, before you're even there, you will get there very quickly. I can almost guarantee you of that. And that's what we're talking about here, right? It's like, imagine you were an actor and you were hired for a role. You were trying to play, um, I was thinking of a billionaire. For some reason, I'm thinking Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey. But maybe you don't want to adapt that persona. But, uh, you know, pick a billionaire and imagine you were cast to play that role and if you were an actor, you would become that person. You would study their mannerisms. You would study how they talk. You would say, and so that you could excel at this role. And I guess that's what I'm asking you to do now is basically become an actor, right? And, 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 and play the role and play the script. And guess what? You're going to get there. Guaranteed. Absolutely guaranteed. So long video. I don't know. Hopefully it gives you guys something to think about. But I think this is the fastest way to change your mindset is surround yourself with people where you want to be. You know, if you want to be a doctor, start hanging around a lot of doctors. If you want to change your health, start hanging around a lot of people that are talking about, you know, their health and that type of stuff, right? You want to go out in the woods and hug a bunch of trees and be a hippie like me? Go out and hang around a bunch of hippies um, and start to become that, start to live that. And you will get there very quickly. Okay? See you guys.